Привет, stalkers! So, in this video, we are going to compare 2D scope shaders with 3D scope shaders. I will show you all the pros and cons and major differences between them. Let's start with the 2D shader scope first. 2D shader scope adds a lens effect and a blur when you are zooming in with a scoped weapon, giving you the illusion that you're looking inside a scope. You have a lot of settings that you can change like how blurry the picture looks or how dark the outside of the scope will look. It is very customizable and it is also compatible with many other mods and you can find many patches on ModDB. For example, a patch to give BS scopes the 2D shader scope effect. Performance wise 2D shader scope will use a tiny bit more performance than vanilla scopes and that is because you got all those blur and lens effects working when you're aiming with your scope. Now there are a lot more things to explain on how 2D shader scope works but let's switch to 3D shader scope so you can better understand the difference between them. First of all, 3D shader scope works a bit different while 2D shader scope is basically a picture with some blur effects and lens effects, 3D shader scope is actually a scope attached that is part of the weapon model itself. Inside the scope you will have the same rendering effects like the 2D shader scope. Now the biggest difference here is that the 3D shader scope is using the model of the gun or of the sight as an actual scope which gives you this very realistic effect. It is very similar to the aim point style scopes that you find in the vanilla game, but it's focused around scopes that have zoom. It does have some interesting mechanics, and you can tell there is a difference when I use the M24 sniper with a 2D scope, and an M24 sniper with the 3D scope. While the 2D scope is static when you zoom, the 3D scope side reticle actually changes and moves depending on how much you are zooming in, which creates this really cool effect. From my experience I found 3D scopes to be really cool, much more realistic and immersive, but also a lot harder to aim. When your gun recoils you can lose track of the target a lot easily than the 2D scope will. It also takes a lot longer to search and get the reticle on the target. But that could be also a skill issue on my end. Both mods can have custom scope textures, but there are mods specifically designed to be installed with 2D scope shader. A mod that has custom scope textures is Scope Extravaganza, which allows you to pick scopes in a multi-optional four mod installation. Check out the link in the description if you want to see how to install this type of mod. Both mods nowadays need DLTX to work, although you can install 2D shader scope for vanilla without DLTX. Another thing you need is to make sure that your game is running in DirectX 10 or 11, else you won't get those nice blurring effect and lens effect the mods needs to create when you are zooming in. Well stalkers we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly videos and guides and I love testing new bots and show them to the stalker community. Now some bad things about 3D shader scopes is first of all Oh, the original mod is using the vanilla models of the game and then modifying them just to add the 3D scopes, which is a lot harder to do for modders out there, especially if you compare it how the 2D scope works, which is just a fake 2D site with some effects. Another issue is that some 3D scopes will look horrible when you zoom in. Let's compare the Lynx SVD with a 2D scope and then we compare it to the 3D scope. You can clearly see a difference because this Link Sniper has not so high quality textures, you can see some pixelation around the 
edges of the scope which isn't very attractive to see. Also when you shoot the recoil makes it look like your eyeball is bouncing inside the scope. So there is definitely some good things and bad things about the 3D scopes. It is a lot harder for modders to mod this type of scope because you have to recreate the weapon and then model a new scope into the weapon, which is not easy to do. Another problem that I found is that if I apply some high quality retextures for some weapons that use the 3D scopes, it breaks the mod because you are overwriting the model that have the scopes themselves. So in conclusion, which is the best type of scope mod that you can use? My answer is use them both because that's what I did. I simply removed the weapons that I didn't like the 3D scopes with and then made the 2D scopes override those specific weapons like the SVD links for example. If a modder has time and love for this game, they can make an amazing 3D scope shader effect for all weapons that they are making. To see shader scope is more flexible than 3D shader scope, you can easily change the settings from the command console. And if you have DLTX installed, it will automatically be applied to your game. And then you can also change the settings from DLTX EXE menu. Both mods are quite easy to install and they will require you to have some patches if you're using some custom mods or repositioning mods for your weapons. I'm going to leave some links with some instructions in the description of this video. hope you found this video useful if you have any questions about these mods or options write down here below in the comments i have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on youtube bye and thank you for watching